And welcome back to the UEFA Futsal Championship. We're in the middle of the Polish national anthem at the moment. Poland against Croatia coming up, but we should respect this. So both teams preparing for their opening game in this second official UEFA Futsal Championship. The Poles very much the surprise package of qualifying. They put out Portugal, who would have been one of the favorites to win this tournament had they made it, which is a sign of how well Poland did. Portugal, the World Futsal Championship semi-finalists. Three European sides having made the semis of the worlds, including Spain and the hosts here, Russia. So Poland, an extremely good futsal team, good squad under Roman Savinsky and Croatia fairly consistently good. Poland have only existed as a futsal nation, had a national association for 18 years. Croatia for nearly 40 and one of the uh, more recognized powers. I really know what to expect from this Polish side. Croatia were also unbeaten in qualifying albeit in not quite as tough a group as Poland. France, Macedonia and Slovenia, the opposition, they beat France 8-2. And Matej Kuliak, the star on that occasion with a hat-trick, and he will be in the squad here and almost certainly in the starting four outfield players. Five aside, remember, 20 minutes each way, just about ready to start here in Moscow. Fairly disappointing crowd in the Luzhniki Arena. I'm sure that will build up over the weekend once the tournament starts to hot up and once people have a bit more time off work as well, that does come into it. And these opening exchanges are so, so important, especially given that this game is almost becoming a personal battle, this one. And this time, no one picked him up. Robert Girdovich with his 25th international goal and his 23rd international. Good work from the captain, Miko Martic, but the Poles who kept things so tight left Croatia's most talented player unmarked a yard out from goal and paid the price. That's a good run from Tomicic. But now maybe the Poles can strike back here. Wonderful finish by Dabrowski. Well, they've truly come out of their shell now, both sides. Dabrowski's excellent scoring record, two continues. His 62nd international futsal goal. In only his 46th game. And that is a great finish from Dabrowski. Papes in the last two minutes here. Eklic again. Little turn from Girdovic. Oh, and has Girdovic won it for Croatia? It was a quite brilliant goal from the number 10. He has so much quality in that left foot. He found a little bit of space, unerringly he found the top corner. Again, Duleva was helpless. Super turn, little shimmy, off balance, what a goal. Well, worthy of winning any game and maybe it's just nicked this one for Croatia. And this was Eklic in the build up to it. He did very well to keep possession. You mentioned Martic's prompting. He found the left foot. Look at this, his shirt's being tugged. Super goal by Girovic, it really is. Dabrowski, he's the danger man. 
This is the goal that looks to have won it for Croatia. See it again and again from Gjurovic. No chance at all for Duleba, for whom you have to feel sorry.